Hello friends, welcome back to channel. As you can see, we have discussed on how it is printing on this desktop. Like, this is my username, at the rate, the system host name, directory, and the level of privilege I am having. But, where it is getting stored, there is some, somewhere it is getting stored. So that variable name is echo dollar ps1. So it's showing username, host name, working directory, and then symbol. Correct? But we can change it. How? So we we'll give next value to ps1 equal to start the brace and initiate of username. But we'll keep, but we'll keep it simple. Slash username at the rate slash host space slash working directory slash t, and then we'll try to close it slash hash space slash dollar. Oh, it's not getting completed because I have over to close this one. Okay, so now you are able to see username, host name, my working directory, timestamp, and the history 218. See, ls for 20 and host name. 21 is counting the history also if i run history command it is 1215 but why string triple two this is the current system status which is not yet saved in a history okay so we'll change one more time what we'll do to control r ps yes one okay what we'll do we'll keep it simple post name Username, a working directory, here we'll put a space. Okay. Now, see, command not found. PS1. Okay. They should go here. Add it all. Okay. Now, if you see, it's got change. First is coming host name, username, working directory. And change furthermore space hyphen t or time i don't want to check the history it's okay so you're able to see ewd ls net state whatever command you are running is giving the timestamp also this is the ps1 but this is called ps2 let's see what is ps2 so echo dollar ps2 oh what is this ps2 is the thing like if you run a command okay and if command is not completed it will give you this prompt this not completed command and giving multiple commands whenever you are giving multiple command this prompt will come that is ps2 you have to complete command here then only it will get executed okay now thing is that let me clear my screen echo ps2 having this thing so what we'll do echo echo ps2 equal to what we can do we can create the dollar come on extend okay now if i do some uncomplete command it will give me a dollar prompt then i have to complete here it will get executed so this how you can use let me change my ps1 again i don't want time okay and this dollar symbol or privilege level what we can say okay it's like this or if you want to make it back at normal what you will do first username will come then host name will come then working there so this is the default but why we are discussing this thing so you can 
change it these are the variable okay and whenever your system profile get read by src you can create this variable here and it will get loaded to your system so what we'll do go and we'll give a uh, user name host name and parking directory and a timestamp you keep like this and i don't want history all okay so we we'll load source dot dash rc see got loaded so now your system will come with this so you can make any setting okay so like this here we have mentioned timestamp and working directory but the format is good enough if i press i t and w time and these things again if you want to load these files src so this is the perfect thing username host name timestamp and working directory cd slash cdc you're able to see or what you can do vi slash dot bash rc okay i am not in that my home directory vi bash rc dot bash rc i don't want anything host name or something okay remove everything timestamp working directory just uh host name and working directory it's good enough for me let's see how it is working source okay so my host name and working directory like slash cd slash cd is in it would be ls so this thing is good enough for me so we can make the setting and same way you can go for a ps2 so hope you like this setting and uh, this will save your time and you can customize your system as your condition hope you like this video see you next video till then keep learning bye bye